hello guys you're welcome to this youtube channel i welcome you all thank you for visiting my channel so today we are going to be editing another picture go to let me go to my gallery then here is the picture it has a very low quality or resolution you can see it here 720 by 102 okay so now let's go to our remini application we are going to enhance this picture this remini stands for picture enhancer so you click on the picture and then you click on enhance okay and then you just give it time to load up and here it is all right so you can drag the arrow so that you can see how clear it is save it because you don't see the depth of its clarity or resolution here so just save it here and then you go to your gallery to view how clear it is or it could be all right so just give it time to download and save to gallery okay so let me go to my gallery now and then i'll go to remini put off your data so that your phone will not misbehave if you have a phone like mine all right so let me refresh my gallery and then come to remini and then you click on the first picture let's see the resolution now we have 1440 all right i think this is cool this is good for us to go so you click on the share okay let's share to pixel pro all right and then you click on the maximum okay let's zoom in a little all right just click on adjust and click on sharpen okay we want to give more sharpening to this picture it is zooming automatically but you can zoom out back and then uh, you see this arrow here that's what we're going to use to increase or decrease the sharpen level so let's put it as 146 and click on check mark come again uh well you can choose to click on the contrast or exposure or you click on the resize so let's resize this picture now okay uh let's resize it something higher than this uh let's say 2000 by 3000 yes and then let's scale all right and then you click on the check mark all right so that will be a little bit higher okay yes so click on export and then you export to your pixel pro all right i i think it's good to export into the folder all right and then leave this and then come to this snapseed okay and then you click on the plus sign or open on top there you see the open there good so you click uh, the gallery and images and pixel pro and click on the picture and then you come to your details okay click on the details then you can adjust the structures uh, the structure or the sharp then just set it to anything that can satisfy you so uh, work on the sharpening also let it be plus 18 okay uh, you can put it on anything, on anything that satisfies you and then you come to the drama okay you click on that drama and then this is the default so you can resize it or change the settings the filter strength you can change it to anything you want okay just make sure it's not too obvious and then it's not too low okay so you can zoom in to just check all right and then click on the check mark and then you can save your work now all right yes so uh let's see let's come to our gallery and then let's locate the picture we just finished editing with a uh, snapseed okay okay yeah it is all right that's cool that's cool that's cool all right so click on that share okay and then share it to sketchbook and then here it is okay so create a new layer and then let's go to sketching first now look at this to this digital brush this is not where it is located okay i just move it there all right so let's continue by sketching oh i think this size is too small let me increase it to 2.0 okay i think this is cool or oh, 1.8 yes all right so let me begin to sketch now this is not straight good so anytime you sketch work with your soft eraser like you can see me doing okay and now i'm moving to the lips so i love to smudge things uh clearly in a more uh clean way okay i am not the kind of person that would just sketch and then i'll leave it there no so duplicate the picture in case you make mistake you can easily delete it and then you come to the other one okay so i'm using this uh soft eraser right now and uh, a lot of you may be asking that what is the pressure 
of the soft eraser and i've always been answering people that you can use any just make sure it is about 50 i mean 60 percent downward okay 60 percent downward anything above that then it will be obvious i mean it will uh, it will almost turn to hard eraser okay so this is soft eraser then you must be careful with it and then anytime you see me sketching i'm not just sketching for sketching sake okay i go with the line i mean with the flow of the picture okay and then i use my soft eraser on the edges then the sketch will be so realistic okay it will be so realistic if you check other tutorials of mine you see i do it the same way i use uh, um, soft eraser okay on the edges of the sketches if you use it it's cool seriously it's cool okay so you can continue creating a new layer and then imagine it to the one below okay so there are some kind of shades here so i'll continue to sketch it and then i'll put the shades i mean the dark parts of the picture okay and then create another one and you begin to hide it also just be sure to fill it very well so that there's no loophole there and then i go to my soft eraser then you see what i'm doing do the same i use it on the edges and then the thick part so that it can fit okay then i can match it and create another new layer right uh, now <clears throat> just make this line all right then you use your soft eraser also and now i think we should make use of the tool here let's make use of our guide okay just place it there then you use your pencil to sketch and then you can use your soft eraser on the edges okay it's a very brilliant tool you can see how i'm using it so by the time you're trying to use your own place be considerate all right don't just use it anyhow and then let's come to the high then i use the same guides okay so the guide is good for mostly for curves okay you want to draw curves and then your hand somehow can't draw it or you feel you should do something that will be more faster okay and then you should use your soft eraser don't forget that soft eraser on the edges of every sketch only the edges that is touching the camera you should not bother to use um, the soft eraser if you don't understand what camera means you should check the videos on this channel i've explained what camera means on how to do it okay and then i do the other part also and use soft eraser again you can see the way i'm doing it all right and then i come to the nose the nose is a very good one all right so just let me use my hand uh, all right let's make use of the guides also and then i'll show you what i mean by it can work with curves do you see this so you can resize it to any kind of curve in as much as it's going to work okay uh, um this will give me what i want let me do it again okay the shape of the nose is somehow because of the shades okay i think this is good so i'll use my soft razor okay and then the soft razor on the edges okay and then i use it here likewise it's a very good one and i will always advise people to to use it okay and then let's come to the other side also and we use the same method with the same guide but you have to reset it as in you have to 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 make it curve to the area you're trying to work on okay and then you can use your hand to draw other areas that are not aligned okay and then you use your hard eraser to just you know make it work well and then let me go with soft eraser on the edges okay and then you come here so soft eraser good and then you merge it again you can create another new layer and then you begin to work on and on and on and on on it okay like this nose for example now let's sketch this and then we give you the dark shades also uh, let's fill in the color here let's use fill box okay and then i'll draw the other part also uh, but let me use soft eraser on this first and then let's make this realistic 
you can see all right create a new layer and then you do it with the same process all right let's make sure of our fill box also here fill bucket okay and then i'll use my soft eraser once again on the hedges and then to make the uh, black color realistic all right we we'll soon check what we are doing now all right let's see yeah so this is what we are doing but i think we still need some adjustment on it okay yes 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 all right use it on the hedges and then once it satisfies you okay you can merge it together and then you continue with your work okay and now let us come to the high so just be careful you see the way i'll sketch mine i just come here to sketch the other so but i'll always use my soft eraser on the hedges okay and then i'll just make sure it's shift inside a little okay you can see this so it's not obvious i'm sure you understand what i'm saying now so i'll use my soft eraser to to just make sure somehow it's blending and then i can merge it create another new layer let me come to my pencil on the legacy and then uh, let me use it to draw the high lashes uh, and the high bro okay so i'm going to use this brush for the two it's the, the, this pencil this particular pencil on the legacy so if you check your sketchbook you will see the same tool there it's called pencil on the legacy okay so i'm going to use it as you can see me using it right now just to decrease the size to anything that can any size that can satisfy you okay i don't like to give um specific size because if you don't understand how resolution works on picture then you will end up using the size i ask you to use and then you will get a very poor result all right so it depends on the resolution of the picture that's why i love to teach you uh what and how it should be done not just to give you a certain instruction that this is what you must always do know all right so let's see this um okay okay i think it's better but let's detail it more on the edges and then to make it more darker and then it has some wings more okay you can see what i'm doing and then i'll just cover it inside all right and then downwards here also yeah, it should have some okay just make sure it does you can see what i'm doing right good so please by the time you want to do your own make sure make sure it's neat all right you can see i'm doing my own now make sure it's neat all right so let's see okay let's do it more let's detail it more all right so that's more more realistic than it is now let's see and then let's come to the other part also and then you just resize this also um let me erase this part i'm not it's not satisfying uh, let me erase it i think i should draw the other part first because i want the hybrid to have the same pattern okay so let me draw this first i just flip that's what i did okay this flip, flip comes okay so i'll come to go back to the i'm doing 0.6 
to make sure it filled rightly okay and then after that you use your software user on the edges for that layer you use a paintbrush one on okay you use your small i mean your soft eraser to erase the edges so that it can move inside a little and then it's not look too obvious okay all right can you see the difference and then you can reduce the layer opacity to like 50 percent right, let's reduce or increase it more 56 and then you merge it all right now use your soft eraser on the edges finally now okay so that it can blend a little and then you use it to make some corrections where you don't like the strokes or where you don't want it to be okay so you can use a soft razor to correct it now duplicate and then we want to flip okay flip all right and then let's try to make this hyper to come to the other side also so use your transform tool and then you use the flip horizontal all right and then let's resize it here i think it's better all right let's just make sure we set it rightly okay and then we click on the check mark all right i think it's here now good now use your uh your pencil to draw other parts and then you can use your soft eraser now to erase the parts you don't want okay you can see that and then you can just use your pencil to to draw the part you want okay because you know somehow they are different but now you can add some little little difference to it i mean details to it okay so you can see we have uh hitting our work we duplicate it and then we just create a new layer right now and then let's go to the other high let's flip again and then we do the same process we did for the first time all over again on this After you've drawn it, you can begin to use your soft eraser to make corrections to the part you don't want, okay? And then just to make it more beautiful and then look more realistic. So the soft eraser can actually do many things. Just don't misuse it, don't abuse it, okay? And then you use it on the edges. I love to use it on edges, most especially, you know, it will make it blend, as you can see it will blend it in yes so use it to make corrections and to make it realistic Now let us move to the highs. Okay, um, let's use. Well, we can use a digital brush. Okay, and then you click on the guides again, and then you click on the ellipse. All right, and then you resize it, and then just make sure you, it's resized well, and then you use <coughs> the brush around it, just to see if you are trying to draw around it. Okay, and then automatically it will become the shape you are looking at. The shape you formed and then use your fill bucket or um, color fill to fill in the color okay and then uh, let's see you can hide the layer okay so that you can erase the part you don't need and then it become it will become something cool for you let's see just make sure you erase it very well right that's the, one of the purpose of we sketching the high so that we know where to erase and where it's needed okay go to the other part likewise and do the same erase it also on top and then below okay yes 
all right just make sure it's erased well make sure it's not the areas needed are not erased and then you increase it back okay just check it well and make sure it's blending okay somehow to you yourself you should have imagined it's becoming a high already okay just make it blend make it blend make it blend all right i think this is fine uh, okay so we can match it now right and then you create another new layer and then this time let us continue our sketching with the hair Now let's draw this curve with our guides. Okay, the jaw curve. Let's draw it with our guide. You can see this. So just set it well. It can draw any curve. Just make sure it is set well. All right, and then you sketch it. You, you, you just you know just as if you want to draw line, then it will automatically draw it for you. All right. <clears throat> so you, you see all these angles now. It seems as if it's not possible but you can ask, uh, still do it you just have to reset it and then you use your eraser later to make it moderate all right good so come to this side also you resize it likewise you can see this good and then i think we are good we are good with it all right so let's use it to sketch other part also all right just watch as it follows Just make your hand to make you know redress those areas that has fault all right and then uh, let's use a hard razor okay and then a soft razor to just blend this area okay i don't want to totally erase it off so um let's see just begin to locate the layers and then use your hard razor to erase the areas that you want to be erased totally okay but if you don't want it to be erased totally like this one now just locate the layer all right and then you click on it and then you use your soft eraser on the edges okay so anything you need that it shouldn't be erased totally use your soft eraser on the edges okay like you can see me doing it now you can see how i'm doing it here yes. so i'm using my soft eraser just on the edges okay so that it will blend along with the skin all right so still on the same layer use soft eraser likewise okay right make it blend well all right so let's look at layer for this also all right uh, let's use our soft eraser for this area also so that you also blend okay and then the other one here that is not needed i'll use my hard eraser I want to completely erase it out okay so I'll increase the size and then I'll begin to erase and you can see what's happening now let me use my salt eraser here so that it can blend along with the other sketch yes so you can see that right also use your add eraser to make corrections locate layer 
no that's not yeah so begin to erase okay and then come up for here also erase it still on the same layer okay and then let's just clear this off it's not needed here okay and then this one well let's just make some corrections to hit okay you can see what side did now go back to the pencil and then you draw it use your soft eraser and then you blend it again okay yes so let's come here also use your hard eraser to make corrections to those areas that are coming out all right as you can see the lower part of the job this place also needs correction erase it and then use your digital brush again and then you redraw it okay draw it well then use your soft eraser on the edges so that it will blend with the scale like you can see me doing right now okay and then um let's use soft eraser here so that it will also blend in that area and then hop for there okay so let's come to this also let's look at the layer all right so use your soft eraser also on it and then this one use your hard eraser we want to erase it completely okay yes so it's erased already and now let's see so you can see what you have achieved right so you can see so this is the this is where we use soft eraser the other time to blend the sketch okay as you can see so let's merge it now let's merge everything all the sketches let's merge it together all right so now you can um, move forward from here by creating another new layer okay you use the plus sign to create a new layer and then let's see where should we start now um well, let's go to the hair and then we we'll sketch the other part that uh, still left behind So here is it all right so we can match it now with the other sketch and create another new layer and then this time let's move to the hair okay now we need to be careful we can use our brush seven okay for the edges the inward edges all right but you really need to be careful using this tool okay increase the size and then begin to use it i love to use this brush seven you know for many things was but I just want to use it for this year because of the edges of this uh, tool because of the nature of it okay so I'll just use it for the edges around the hair the inward part okay not the external ones you know the external ones they are somehow we call it coil okay but these ones they can easily be, be done so that's why I'm using brush seven you can decide to do everything manually <clears throat> You, you can decide not to use brush 7 and then you decide to begin to pick it one after the other with your pencil on the legacy like we did for the high and the high bro I mean the high lashes and the high bro okay but uh, to save time just let me use this brush 7 it's still going to give us a cool outcome All right but if you get time if you have time you you can easily use your pencil to begin to uh, draw the hair one after the other pick the strokes one after the other okay but to save time that's why i'm using brush seven 
okay and then just be careful the way you use it i made some settings even under this too so that the hedges will, will be soft okay but that's nothing too hard for you to get just look at the tool and then use it okay and then just make sure you follow the uh, the the wave of the hair also okay i'm not just using it i'm following the wave that's why you see me turning my screen around screen around okay all right let's see what the edges is giving us is that not cool yeah that's fine okay that's fine so create a new layer and then uh, still on the same tool let us use it for the outward edges but check the difference right now can you see the difference can you see the difference so we, do, we are not doing the same way we did uh, the inward part okay So the moment you've done that all right create a new layer now and then let's go back to our pencil okay and then we begin to use it for all these faint faint edges all right all those tiny tiny hair tiny edges okay begin to use it for it begin to sketch it out all right one after the other So once you're done with that let's see it okay you can decide to duplicate it so that it can be stronger okay and then let's see other layers also uh, well we should make it more realistic and then we should erase the outer part a little so that the strokes can show let us make use of our hr here okay and then you put it on eraser mode transparent mode okay use it on the hedges outside so that it can it can erase it for you you can see exactly what i'm doing i'm using the tool called hr so you can locate it on your sketchbook it's there okay hr 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 so go to your sketchbook and look at for the tool okay so i'm just trying to make the hair realistic and then i'll put it on black color now <clears throat> and then i'll begin to fill those areas that need um uh needed to be filled okay now you can see it's becoming realistic because even this each hour it looks like air on its own okay so i have to just use it somehow on the background so that it can it can fill some space and then at the same time it's standing as hair hope you understand that yes so fill it up as you can see me doing so just make sure it's realistic okay yes and then come to this area so use the same method okay and then i think it's better let's observe it well okay now come here and just observe it very well any loophole that you can see make sure you fill it till it become like the reference okay and then let's come to to this place oh we need some corrections here so erase it with soft eraser so that it can go inside a little so that these strokes there can show okay yes so erase it a little and then let's see on the edges right now hmm undo it okay I'm 
just trying to check how strong it is okay so that i will know what to do and then i'll begin to merge the layers if they are giving me what i want all right so i'll begin to merge it all right and then i can make any kind of correction that i needed on it but before you merge the layers just be sure that uh, you are good to go all right because once you merge it then you know the layers cannot be separated unless you consider uh, using undo and that will waste a lot of your time all right so let's erase this part so that the hair can show i mean uh h a i r okay and the e a r you know they are different yes so increase this back and then still erase it more now let's use a soft eraser so that it can it can blend okay use it on the edges yes this is blending good so that even when we begin to paint it will not give us problem all right mm, let's see we don't need to give it white details okay so let's create a new layer then let's come to the neck and give it those little details that it remain okay give it those little little details and then you can even decide to give it shades like you can see me doing right now this is called shade okay trying to make shade effectiveness of a uh, soft eraser with this tutorial really okay so just make sure it blends very well and then you can reduce the opacity asking me how I used to put my logo on my work. I'll just look at where I saved my logo, okay, and I'll click on it. Alright, then I import it to my sketchbook then you can easily place it anywhere I want it to be. Alright, anything you want to import on Notre Dame will automatically be on transform. So you can shift it to any area you want or even do anything with it, okay? Now I think uh, we should add a little details to this area, okay, on the neck, so that it can be much more realistic. As you begin to add those details, just make sure you use your soft eraser also to blend the edges, okay, so that it can be realistic. As uh, also for this, use your soft eraser. Soft eraser, let it sound in your mind always. It's important, okay. So you can use it for this angle also. So that it can <clears throat> it can sound sound as a, a curve okay use your soft eraser also to to patch it so that it can work well so i want to appreciate you guys for watching the next tutorial will be on how to detail the high professionally so i'll be expecting you to come back to this youtube channel watch please guys subscribe to this youtube channel that is the only way you can support this channel all right and as you do so god bless you share it also with others and then expect the part two of this tutorial <laughs>